Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking about the five ways to change your life. Dun, dun, dun. Super dramatic, I know, but I'm telling you these things, if you implement just these five things, I guarantee you, you will change your business as a whole next year in 2024. So if you're a window cleaner, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? I really, really just want to say I appreciate you guys being here. Um, Thanks for listening. Thanks for following. Thanks for letting me put orders in. Thanks for all of that. But I know this episode is a very dramatic start, and uh, the name is like one of those things that's clickbaity and all that stuff. I... This is not for this to be clickbait at all. I will guarantee you that if you do these things and you do them with your whole heart, it will change your life. It will change your business. It will change your growth. It will change your strength. It will absolutely transform your business. Now, I always start these off by saying I'm just a dummy, right? I'm just some dude who sits in front of a mic and babbles, right? Um, Yeah, I've owned businesses, I've sold businesses, I've done all that stuff. It's great. Some of the concepts that I talk about, um, there's a lot of people out there who just watch episodes, which is cool. They listen to it, they just like soak it up, and they go, ah, it's not really for me, and that's fine. None of this has to be for you. But out of these items that we're going to talk about, absolutely the most influential kind of biggest things you could possibly do for your business. And uh, I'd like to just challenge you going into 2024 is just these changes, doing these changes um, will literally transform the end of 24 versus the end of 23. And I've talked about them before. I put them in there a little bit. I'm telling you though, these are the absolute top five. So I'm just going to jump into what it is. And I'm going to give you Three things that are free and two things that are paid. So if you can and you're looking to invest in your company, which I hope you are, absolutely. Don't, don't, you know, don't go and tell everybody about this. This is just for you. This is going to be just for you and your business. Now, but the first thing that you can do is phone bids. And I'm not going to touch too much on this because we did, uh, I did an episode last week or the week before, I believe, um, on phone bids. And I got so many people, so, so many. It's, it's actually been one of the, the most talked about episodes I've done in a very, very long time. And I guess I just assumed that whenever I was talking about it, people just listened and understood it. And that's not really the case. So I, I want to talk about those phone bids. If you haven't watched the whole episode or listened to the whole episode, go back and listen to the whole episode there. But basically, the premise is a phone bid. 99.9% of your jobs that you're doing should be bid by phone, in my opinion. I'm a dummy, in my opinion, may not matter. But how does that change your business, right? The bigger you get... The more calls you have, the more bids you need, the more... If you're getting one call a week in the busy season, it's very easy to go and do that kind of talk. You're still having a lower close rate by doing that. And I don't care what you say. I don't care, you know. Every time I do those and I say that, people go, I have a higher close rate because I do them in person. No, you don't. It's not even possible. You're You're telling me that not one person that calls you for an estimate and you can't do it right away calls another company? Not one person does that because that's what you're telling me and it uh, doesn't make sense. So phone bids increase your close rate. They increase the amount of bids that you can do and how fast you can do it. I could do a phone bid in two minutes. Not only can I do a phone bid in two minutes, I can give them a price, I can have it scheduled, I can have them booked, and I can upsell in two minutes. You cannot do that in an in-person bid, not ever, at all, no matter who you are, ever. Because you still gotta drive there. You're not selling more 
in person than you are over the phone. And people go, well, they really need to see me and they need to... They don't. Have you not ever bought something from Amazon? eBay? These are places that you go to and say, this is what I want. Tell me a price. I'll look at them. Cool, let's do it. People are calling you because they need windows done. They just want to get it done. They don't want to call a whole bunch of people. They don't need to know how fancy your equipment is. They need to know, is it the best equipment for the job? Are you going to get my job done? They need it. It's a chore to them. Even though it's a luxury service, it's a chore to them. And they just need it done. You doing it over the phone absolutely speeds that up. You will have more closes, but more importantly, you'll have a ton more time. If you implement all these other changes and now all of a sudden you're getting you know 30 calls a day, you can't do 30 um, in-person estimates in a day. You can't. And now you're backed up and now you're just losing work. You're, people are going, hey, please take my money. Please. I want to make your business bigger and better. Here's my money. Do my service. And you go, nah, I'll be there in a week. Makes no sense. Phone bids will change the game for you. So make sure you're doing phone bids. That's the first free one. I'm telling you, just with an open mind. I know you're scared of, you know, oh, what if I bid it wrong? Yeah, what if you bid it wrong in person? What if you get to a job and you don't see storms? Or There's a simple set of questions that'll get you the answers. It's the answers you need. You know what you're doing. You know what you're looking for. None of this stuff is hard. If you're off by $10, A, I, if you see something versus doing it, I mean, maybe you're not even off $10 there because you're, it's very hard to be off. But if you are, you just saved an hour's worth of time. How much do you make for your company? Right? Get off the high horse on phone bids. But listen, do me a favor. Even if it's one month, we'll pick March. Do it from now until March. How about how about three months? Because, you know, it's winter. You would make these changes and do them and tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm wrong. Next year, send me a message. Tell me how wrong I am. If you do the changes and I am wrong, I will eat my hat, which is a very old saying that makes no sense because people don't wear hats. Anyway, uh, the next thing that will absolutely change the game for you, and I really wish that I would have found a company sooner and not wasted money and time, but it's SEO. SEO in general is a paid thing. You have to pay for SEO. You can do some SEO yourself, which is awesome. Like do everything, right? There's There, there can't be too much as long as you're following, you know, uh, proper Google guidelines and, and all that. Uh, it changes all the time, so it kind of does suck, but SEO could be done on a very, very minor scale, but you have to pay for SEO. And the problem is, is because of the service of SEO, SEO is, by the way, search engine optimization, just meaning when somebody searches window cleaning in my town, you pop up and you go, well, you know, I really like to, that is because somebody is doing really good SEO. That's why they're number one. It's not because they're just because they're bigger than you. There's probably companies that may be smaller than you. Usually it's the bigger ones because they're spending the money to pay for the SEO. And you think it's just because they're big. It's not how it works. But SEO is the number one most important thing that you can do for your business as far as an advertising standpoint goes. It will be 50%, if not more, of your new customers coming into you, paid. Now, yeah, referrals are there. This isn't referrals. That's a free thing. That's not an advertising. Advertising SEO. You know I talk about Monk SEO. Um, I'm having Bobby on, by the way, again, from Monk SEO very, very soon. But amazing guys. I've known them for like 10 years. And when they started doing this, I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I did not go with them in the very beginning because... I, I didn't think, SEO is one of those things that you can't tell is working until it's too late. So people go, yeah, well, would you like to be on the first page of Google? Usually in an Indian accent or wherever they're calling from. They're, hey, would you like to be on the first page of Google? You're, yeah, cool, just pay us $100 a month. You're like, that's cheap to be on the first, oh, I can't believe it, oh, what the luck. Do you not think they're making phone calls like that all over? Do you think they're actually doing anything? What's gonna happen is, Six months later, you go, man, this isn't doing anything. Maybe it is. Maybe some regular rankings happen and you keep paying them. More than likely, not much happens. And you go, hey, man, not much is happening. They go, oh, well, let's train some things. Give us another um, couple months and we'll see where we're at then. Eight months goes by. 
Well, we're gonna have one more change. Let's just let's just pull. You've spent an entire year's worth of SEO. Cheap SEO doesn't matter. It's 100 bucks a month. That's garbage SEO. They're not gonna do anything for that. Well, obviously, but that's still $1,200 for the year before you go. Oh, this didn't work. I've been screwed. I know people who have spent tens of thousands of dollars with the wrong company. Tens of thousands. It's it's such a hard industry of snake oil versus real. It's if you go and buy a t-shirt, you can go, hey, look, this is the t-shirt you're getting. When you go and buy SEO, you go, hey, so this is gonna do some things for you. And you're like, okay. Right? So a great SEO company is an expense, but it is a, an expense that I think you need to have every month forever. And you go, well, psh, that's just, it's an operating cost. You pay insurance for your trucks. You buy new shirts for your techs and, and, and gear and you buy new rubbers. You change your rubbers every day. You have to buy soap. There's costs associated with this. And if you're in a season where you need new customers, you wanna have a healthy growth of new customers, SEO will always, always, make you more than you're paying by far, by far. I'm talking about in my heydays from when I switched. So I started with them, by the way, this is why when I did try them, I created a new company in a new state. And I said, hey, yeah, let's do it. You know, we'll do this SEO. Within three months, real three months, I went from not having a company to literally being on the first page of Google multiple times. And I'm in a big area all because of SEO, all because of SEO. That never would happen without SEO, but you have to pay for it, unfortunately, and you have to gamble. So going with a good company is key, and I stake my life on uh, Monk SEO for that. But anyway, side note, I always hate bringing names up because then people are like, no, you're just commercial. It's not a commercial. It's just so much garbage out there. I got a guy, this is a side note, who was spending like, 17, 1700 and something dollars a month on SEO, not with them, with a different company. And they just kept stringing them along and stringing them along and stringing them along. He was in a tough area, so obviously gotta pay a little bit more. I mean, $1,700 though is like, that's nuts, that's nuts. Um, and just kept paying and 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 nothing happened. And then all of a sudden he's like tens of thousands of dollars later, he's like, yeah, this just isn't working. I hate that, I hate that, anyway. SEO is absolutely the most important thing. You can literally call them and they'll just like explain things to you. So do that, they're smarter than me. Um, anyway, SEO, by far the most customers incoming will go. We'll go back to another free thing here because I know that one's uh, an expense and people like to like stop it in the winter, which doesn't make sense, but hey. Uh, but another free one is the floater board. And people go, well, this is just some dumb idea. How does that make me money? I will absolutely tell you. A float board is a whiteboard. Always sits behind me, not here in the studio, but normally. I had to take some water there, sorry. Um, and all it is, is lines in the board. Boom, 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 boom. And anytime somebody calls and sets up either uh, an appointment or we have a reoccurring or we have a whatever. So say our guys go to a job and they go, hey, we couldn't help but notice your gutters are actually a little bit full. We'd love to get that on. We're a little bit too full, but we'll put you on a floater schedule, which means we'll be out here. You don't have to be here when we show up, but we will get here uh, the first available time slot we can. And then we'll just leave you an invoice. And uh, so you can see that we are here, done, do whatever, give them pictures, whatever you do for your gutters, throw that on a float board. Now, how that makes you money is, and this is a question for you. This is just in your head right now. You may be out on the job, hopefully working, whatever. Here's a question. Have you ever had a day where either it looked like it was raining and everybody called and canceled and no matter what you told them, they still canceled? Did you also have a day where the guys got done early? Sorry, stupid uh, thumbs up thing. Have you ever had a day where people end up getting back sooner? Right, you get there. It's supposed to be ins and outs. They change it to outs. They do whatever. Oh, and you have time, and all of a sudden the guys are done early. And you're like, oh, cool. But then there's other times where you're trying to work ten-hour days, and you're like, we just can't get it all done. 
This is where the float board makes you money, is I put all that in there so that if the guys are done early, something happens or somebody moves, hey, I'm not gonna be there right away, I can't let you guys in the house, you know, uh, is there any way you can push me ahead of an hour? If it's the last job, I got now an hour block. If I got rain, if I got, you know, stuff getting done, I use it every single week. I find slots for every single week, including if somebody's like, hey man, I'm looking to maybe I'm gonna pick some overtime up, or I love to do some Saturday work, just, you know, holidays are coming up, we're trying to catch it. And somebody wants to do that and you want to do that, awesome. Here, take all of this stuff off this float board. And the float board is that exact thing. It is to put in jobs that can be filled anywhere at an instant. And on our float board, for us, we have all of our envelopes. We still have envelopes, so it's like your invoice lets you know we're there, all of our stuff, cards, gift cards, blah, 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 envelope, boom. It sits on there too. So when you go and get one of them off the float board, I grab the corresponding envelope. I can send it with them. It's done, it's boom, it's quick. It's if getting out there in the morning, they can do it. If they're out there on the side, I can send it to them. It's absolutely a game changer for filling your slots. There's nothing more frustrating to me is not making money in a time where I should be making money, right? Middle of spring, you got this giant job, ends up postponing it, moving it to a couple weeks later. Now you got this four hour block and then your guys are just gonna go like hang out for four hours when you, you, you've been nothing but busy. Now you're trying to scramble and call people to try to make them push and the float board will fill the space. They'll make you more money. It'll get you your time. It will absolutely be a stronger thing. This is easy. It's a $10 like whiteboard. You probably already have a whiteboard. Literally, just fill it in with the items of the customers that you don't need to be there. Outs, outs only on casement windows, gutter cleaning, right? They have a driveway that needs pressure washing, whatever. It will fill in your time and allow you to get more done. Not one company ever in the country has every crew running 40 full hours a week. But we all strive for that, right? So having a float board gets you closer to that. So float board's really, really easy. And I'm gonna jump off real quick and, and do the shameless plug for today. You know I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com, probably. But I am, I'm a sales rep. That's a, a shady term for sales, I know. I am not pushy. If you have orders, by the way, Mario was just posting that. Uh, one of my awesome, awesome customers shoots me a text and is like, hey, I need this, this, and this. Get it off to me. Cool. Is the address still one, two, three? Yes. Awesome. I got everything else. I put it in. I make it absolutely easy and it costs you nothing extra. On top of that, I get credit for it. So it's like a high five every single order you put in. We ship free over 49 and say you have a $49 order, I still get credit on that. Every order counts. So I wanna put all orders in, I make it absolutely easy. The really nice thing too is you can call me or text me about any questions on anything also. When I become your rep, like when I'm the guy, you can lean on me for questions and bidding and, and just, hey, I got this, this and this, what do you think? So gear, uh, here's the three things I'm looking at, here's why, what do you think? I'll tell you absolutely true. I'll tell you if I don't like something, <clears throat> certain brand of squeegee that I always talk about, I'll tell you if I love something, zero. I love the zero brand. I love the warranty, I love the product, I love, anyway. I will tell you all the pros and cons and put it out there. You make the decision. I'm thinking about like a destroyer pole versus a, a, a basic carbon fiber pole. Well, cool, here's the options. One's really expensive, but here's why. And anyway, I make it easy. Let me put your orders in. My number is 862-312-2026. I got off on a tangent, I'm sorry. Uh, another thing is, um, I own American Window Cleaner Magazine, and I would love to get you as a subscriber, a real magazine for window cleaners. It's a window cleaning magazine that we produce, we make. There's some amazing articles by some awesome journalists. There are amazing pictures. There are sticker sheets that are custom for um, your buckets or whatever else. Get in the culture, learn even more. Go to awcmag.com, get a subscription because I see it. It's like 69 bucks. Get it, it's a whole year, real paper magazine, something to read on the turlet. Go and do that. And by the way, I keep plugging this too and it's changing but not much. I have my own YouTube channel. I just started it. So I have literally just hit 500 subscribers yesterday and I'd love for you to be a subscriber, which costs you nothing also, but it's like, cool, eh, 
doing something. It's just Jersey underscore nation is the thing. Go, go subscribe. Anyway, back to the show. Sorry, that was a longer one than I like. We just got done talking about float board, which is relatively free. You got to buy the board, obviously. So let's go back into a paid thing. Now, this is not as much as, say, an SEO, but is absolutely something that is going to change your business. And this just happened to me today. I was looking for someone to stretch carpet in our house. We have like my wife cleaning the carpets, used too much moisture, even though she said she didn't, and there's like a little crease. I want it stretched, stretch for carpet so it doesn't get all damaged. I went on, picked the one with the most reviews, and called them first. And I'll go down. But if this one has 260 reviews, with like a 4.8 rating or a 5.0 rating. And the other one's got, you know, three view reviews at a 5.0. I'm going to trust the one with all the bunch of reviews more because more people have used them. I'm not going to trust the three. And how you get reviews? Yes, you ask. Yes, you do all that other thing. But nice job. Nice job is a company that is not even new on the scene, but we use them for the huge convention back when WCR owned that. And um, they blew us out of the water. I mean, we ended up having like 150 reviews after the one show and we're like, what? How is, absolutely works, is phenomenal. They make it so easy for your customers to submit reviews for your company on Google and everything else. They do the follow-up, they do the, the satisfaction stuff, they send the links, they make it so it's literally a one-click thing for your customer they will increase your reviews amazingly. If you can go double your reviews by the end of 2024, you will have more customers, I guarantee it. And, which I love competition, I think you should love your competition, but if you have more reviews, more people will call you instead of calling your competition, which gives you more market share. Absolute simplistic facts. You will get more work by having more reviews all the time. 100%. Understand that there are multiple sides to a company. In business, you advertise to get new people to call you. You provide an amazing experience and then the after support to get them to repeat. And then you do such an awesome thing with them that they tell everybody they love, they know, they trust. Now more people use you. There's different facets to different parts of the business. With nice job, the people go, well, I don't need reviews because I'm such a nice guy. People just, you know, as soon as they talk to me, it's, it's, a, it's a soul done. Di awesome. Why are they talking to you? Do you think that your name, they just like, do you, the, the people go to Google and they type in window cleaners near me. You, you didn't do SEO. You didn't do any of that stuff. They're looking at things. Why were they going to call you? If you show up on the first page, well, well, once they do, they'll, no, no, that's awesome. That's the second touch, right? It sounds creepy, but the touches and things, you get to touch them enough times, get them to call you. Now they're in, now they're a warm lead. Now you turn them into a hot lead. You turn them into a customer and then you keep them a repeat customer. Getting them to call you in the first place is the most important part. That's where SEO comes in. It puts it up there because now people just find you. Reviews give them a credibility. It makes you real. If there's a company that has no reviews, go, nobody has used them. Of course they have. I We run a website that has thousands of items and a lot of them have like one or two stars and people go, this must be crap. No one's reviewed it. No, we're not Amazon. No one reviews things and products that easily. It's very hard to get people to review things. Our best-selling system, we sell thousands, thousands and thousands of zero uh, systems a year and still there's like, you know, 20 reviews, 50 reviews, something like that. It's very hard, but people always equate low reviews to low quality, low customers, low interest in the product. That happens, that's on everything. They're doing that with your company too. If you have two reviews, even though they're five stars, you're the only five star rated. Everybody else has like 4.9, but they have more reviews than you. They're going to call them. They're not calling you. Reviews are absolutely that important. And the big thing is, is that reviews are free for somebody to give you, 
they have to just give it to you. It has to be easy. It has to be fast. It has to be something that is followed up on and kept up with and tracked and have all that stuff. That's what nice job does. Can you do it on your own? Absolutely. If you got the time to do that, absolutely. You cannot let that fall though. Reviews are absolutely integral to your, your company. If you can double your reviews next year, you will get more calls, guaranteed. If you have the most reviews out of any company in your area, guaranteed you're getting more calls from that. So why would you not get reviews? People just go, hey, if you really like this, you should review us. And they go, oh, absolutely, I will. And you leave and they don't. And you're like, why does nobody review? Because what are they gonna do? Now you leave, now they're supposed to what? Go to their computer and try to figure out how to find you and get you. They're onto something else, man. They took the time off of work or they're gonna look at the windows, they're gonna put their blinds back up, they're gonna put their tchotchkes back up. They're gonna go to lunch with their friend. They're gonna do all those things that are not reviewing your company. If you can somehow get them just a link, hey, we would love a review. I mean, this is, we're a small business. It means the world to us if you can give a review. Just click this link, say a couple nice words. If it's that easy, they will give you reviews and that will turn into new customers for you. And then when we're talking about these, by the way, I would love to hear at the end of 2024, if any of you implemented all of these with your entire heart, I would love the, 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 the mind explosion of where your company could be. This last one is my absolute favorite thing that I've ever done in my company ever. It is my favorite thing that has ever been done in anybody I ever work with, other window cleaning companies, in anybody that I ever talked to, in anybody that I've ever felt like, whoa, like I had a piece in maybe helping change their business or life or money or all that stuff. And it is the dentist clothes. Now, I've said it. I know, I've said it. You know what it is. I know, I know, I know. Let me tell you what it is. Quick, cliff notes. Dentist clothes is this. We've talked about getting people in. We got them the experience. Oh my gosh, I'm blown away. At that time, you're like, hey, how's everything look? Oh, it looks so great. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Thank you. Okay, great. Awesome. I'm so glad. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, now, for your next appointment, did you want to do that in three months or did you want to wait the full six months? Uh, let's go ahead and wait six months. When you go to the dentist, they give you your next appointment every time. Six months. They just give you a piece of paper. Hey, is, uh, you know, you're here at 10 a.m. Is that still a good time for you? Yeah, no one has ever questioned it, not ever. The thing where we stop ourselves and everybody that's ever given me pushback on the dentist clothes, A, hasn't tried it or hasn't done it right or hasn't, they're unsure and their confidence doesn't translate. But every single person always is like, oh, I'm not gonna bug them. That's just way too often. Is it? Why is it too often? I do houses every single month. I, I, there's, I had quite a few houses that I did their entire house, all of their windows every single month. I had one customer that did it every three weeks, which is weird, I know, but it was because their husband traveled and it was, anyway, it was their schedule. Every three weeks I did their entire house. It was a 5,000 square foot house. I did all the windows every three weeks. Was that a great account? Yeah, it was. But who am I to tell them that's too much? Oh, no, 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 you can't do it every three weeks. That's way too much. They'd be like, what, what? There's people who get their car washed every week. There's people who have get their car washed once a year. Who is it for us to tell them it's too much, right? But the thing with our mental side is we don't do that. We go, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I, 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 I don't want to take advantage of them. Absolutely not taking advantage of somebody who's hired you for a luxury service. They're amazingly happy. They're the happiest they've ever been for any service. Right now, we just got done. Oh, gosh, it looks so amazing. Oh, I can't believe how great it is. Great. I want to make you this happy again in six months. Let's do it. Yes, cool. Oh, awesome. When they are extremely happy, it is the perfect time to get them to book again because they're in a euphoric state. If you wait, which a lot of us did or do, cool. Well, I'll call you in a couple of months and we'll see what, now it's a couple of months later. They don't remember the window cleaning because the happiness disappears relatively quickly. They've went on and bought other things and now they own a really nice fancy pair of shoes. Their windows are not dirty enough that they go, well, yeah, I really need it, right? No, I think we're okay. How many times have you heard that? No, I think we're good right now. I think we'll wait till spring because now they're trying to wait until they're dirty. their windows are so dirty, they need to have you. They don't remember the happiness it brought. People get their house cleaned every week. 
every two weeks. That's a thing if people get their houses cleaned. Who ever told them that every two weeks is too much? No, yeah, we only clean houses once, uh, once every six months. It's a, you can't do that. Dentist clothes gets your brain past that. And if you ask every single customer, say you get your 90 per, I wouldn't even say, you're going to have 90, 95%. I know people are doing 100% repeat business because of this every six months. But just say, worst case scenario, you're not confident. Your confidence doesn't translate. You're only getting 75% of your jobs to do it every six months. You just increased your business. If all those other jobs were doing it once a year or less, you've just increased your entire business, your entire gross, your entire customers, the jobs you're doing, the amount of money you made by 75% by just changing the mindset and having a phrase at the end of this. I don't think people really understand how fast it is. Well, that'd be really nice. No. If you have one year in 2023 and this isn't this is just me pulling out stupid numbers because i'm bad at math but say you did a hundred thousand dollars and everybody you did just did it once a year awesome cool good business that's awesome congrats you're out there trying to find more customers you're out there trying to find all of these things in advertising and marketing things don't work the economy if for a second you just implemented the dentist clothes without doing any money in advertising at all. And by the way, this is securing all of these customers customers to want to use you, know you, love you, all that stuff. You've just now done, you're one $100,000. Awesome, high five, you did great. You're two, nothing's changed. You didn't spend any money on advertising yet. Now you're gonna do all these other things, SEO and stuff you are gonna spend money on. You've just turned your company from $100,000 to a $175,000 company by just saying the dentist clothes. I don't think people understand that. You could increase $75,000 in this dumb scenario I just made by just saying that one thing. But people are still stuck on the whole, well, no, I'll call them when they... That's fine too. But if you really are going to change your company, implement these five things, it is absolutely doable and do them forever. They're amazing. They will change your company. They will never stop you from maybe needing new customers and always doing the advertising and things. That's where SEO and advertising and Facebook, ad, all that stuff comes into play. But these five things will change your company for the better and it will blow you away. So if you're interested, in doing something crazy and blowing your company out of the water. Maybe you've been just sitting around like, man, I really need to do something. I want to do something to get it to the next level. That's it. You just had 30 minutes. Go listen to the episode again. Those simple things could be started by the end of this week. That's how simple they are. That's up to you to do them, right? It's up to you to understand that when you invest in your company, it comes back. How many people that are listening right now have stock in other companies? Who has stock? Who owns stock? You probably have a 401k, maybe you have uh, IRAs, or maybe you have just stocks or anything. Maybe you have cryptocurrency. I'm guessing that 90 plus percent of you have that. And that's taking your money and investing it in other companies, hoping they do something awesome with it. You could take that money, invest in your own company, which you know will do things. Instead of investing in other companies, you take that money and put it in your own SEO. Your return would be something bigger, better, and greater than every other return you've ever gotten in the past 10 years combined. And it's investing in you. And it's creating an asset. So if you want to change things, that's the way to do it. If you want to make my day, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. Like I mentioned, I would love to put your orders in. That is what I do, how I do, how I live, how I exist and buy my hair gel that everybody says I have to buy more of. I want to be your rep. I want to put your orders in. I want you to be a cool kid. Please give me a call, shoot me a text, even better, 862-312-2026.
even if you're shopping, when you're logged in, just click save this cart. It's like in the checkout screen, instead of hitting checkout, you hit save this cart. And then just text me and be like, yo, my cart number is, it'll give you some weird number. Put my, I push go instead of you. I get credit, it costs you nothing extra and I get to continue living on this earth. And it's a high five of awesomeness. And all of those people who already let me put all your orders in, I love you so very, very much. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who does that. Uh, it is never a bother for me to put an order in, by the way. This is what I do, how I do, and the main and only way I make money. So if you want to do that, it's absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for that. Until next week, if you're going to change your life, your business, this is the way to do it. So I hope you do all five things in 2024. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.